Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed and I'm going to look in on the cocoon only bins. This is my European Nightcrawler bin and I still have not gotten around to counting them or weighing them or anything and honestly with this being the busy season I don't know if I'm going to get around to it. But I am keeping them separate from everything else and uh, we'll get eventually be able to make some sort of qualified statement as to you know how many worms you get after X amount of time. But you can see this is about how big the worms are for me right now. They're they're smallish. I gave them some these were not frozen apples. Give them some rinds and whatnot. So there should be a good number of worms all in one place because I did feed them in a concentrated area. So here they are, little European night crawlers. And you still have got a good amount of that apple left, so I don't think they need fed again. But they are cute, cute pink little worms. They look to be uh, mature now. I'm not seeing any cocoons yet. I haven't looked, honestly, a whole bunch. But, you know, there's still many of them are immature. You don't see the clitellum. You see, like, just the beginning of one on this one. So it's possible that I don't actually have any fully mature worms and I don't know if that's because this is a very small system just a couple of gallons um, or what but they're happy in here and I'm happy that they're happy so let me get my hands washed up and we will look at the red wiggler bin alright this is the red wiggler bin that was started on 515 of 2019 and they've been getting the same food that the European night crawlers have. You can tell that it's uh, pretty, the, the apples were relieving themselves of a lot of moisture. Well, kind of a worm ball. But you can see the worms are still very small. And there's still a pretty good variation of the size of worms. You can see there's a almost mature one and very small ones. Not quite hatchlings, but certainly still wisp-ish. So they're not making any sort of land speed record as far as the changing into large mature worms. But, you know, this is like a two-gallon um, container. So you can tell that the, the red wigglers seem to be a little bit better, a little farther ahead. They're certainly turning the, the paper and the food into compost faster. And I don't know if that's because I get more um, you know, worms out of a cocoon, so there might be more worms in here. I don't know. But they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, and that's fine. I put in what, two chopped apples, and it's been not, it's not been a whole week since they had their chopped apple. So however many worms there are in here, a whole two whole apples is not enough t to be gone in a week. So I'm just going to make sure it's all fluffed up. And then I will just put these little guys back to bed. Alright, well, that is the Cocoon Only Bins update. Didn't know how often I'd be able to get into these or not, but you can tell this guy's really not mature either. He doesn't have a clitellum, and he's one of the bigger worms that I've found in here. Most of them appear to be about this, okay, come on, there you go, about this big. Seems to be the majority of them are about this big. 
But, uh, so that's May, June, July, August, September, and uh, they're not full, full-sized worms yet. So I think it, it may have something to do with the size of the container. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Well, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good day. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, ring the little bell notification thing if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. All right, guys. Well, everybody have a good day.